Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, if it's your first time, we do traditional hot rods and customs here. Pet tips, how-tos, video blogging. We do various projects. We've got a whole bunch of things from, I got a Model A Roadster. We've got a custom Roadster we're building. Um, we've got a 33 Dodge 510 Packard, all kinds of cool stuff. I just did a Will It Run video on the 49 Lincoln. That drivetrain is going to go in our custom Roadster. Today's video is going to cover Emerald City Shakedown. We do event coverage as well. It's a pretty cool show. A little swap meet, pin up contest, uh, second year of it. We cover swap meets, we cover picking, you know, like going out to people's estates and buried hordes and digging stuff out, bringing it back to life. Hope you guys will consider subscribing, really trying to grow the channel, really trying to, trying to get that, that base going. Hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. So, thanks. Managed to get the roadster out, no motor, no tranny, but I still loaded it up and pushed it on out there. A lot of people seem to really dig it and we're trying to figure out what it is and, and everything. It's got a lot of years written on that placard. But and then here's my booth. I got my uh my swap meet booth set up. There weren't a lot of swap meet vendors, but I brought out some good stuff. I did not sell very much, but that's all right. You know, had a good time. It was a great day. My back's definitely a little sore from hauling everything on and off the trailer. And, uh, of course, you always want to sell stuff. But, you know, that's part of it. You, you know, every, when everybody talks about, ooh, you got that great deal, you know, everybody. Ooh, you got all those Model A's for 1700 bucks. Yeah, oh, that was great. It's really wonderful. <laughs> but uh, when you haul this stuff out to these swap meets and you list these parts and you clean them up and take all that time and and then they don't sell or or you know few and far between that happens too there's bust days you know so it's fun it's a lifestyle and i enjoy it but uh definitely not getting rich You know, one thing I find really interesting is uh, as you cruise along and you see all these different styles of cars, you know, like this one right here, this one's really my style. It's a traditional type hot rod, you know, Model A on a deuce frame. It's a 2829 body. I really dig it. It gets me all fired up. And then you look at a couple cars back and you see a Camaro with a LS swap. Doesn't really get me all that fired up. I think it's cool. I love that people are into the hobby. But it's so interesting to me how many different venues there are. Like there's a Ford Econoline, you know, so many different lanes out there for people. And I love that everybody can come together and enjoy it together and appreciate each other, even if you're not on the same track, because uh, many of us are not. This guy right here is a buddy of mine, Country Boy Gas Garage. If you're not a subscriber of his, you should be. He has a really cool build series where he digs this bus out of the woods you can see how it used to look right there his name's jason definitely go give his channel a check out i'm gonna link him in my description so uh go take a look
one of the things I noticed this year from last year, there was about a hundred less cars this year. And I think the, the little heat wave we've had going on had something to do with that. But, um, one of the things I noticed is there's a lot more, there's my beautiful wife. There's a lot more, uh, I guess my style car this year than last year. There's a lot more traditional hot rods. There's a lot more twenties and thirties stuff and stuff like this, you know, like a fifties custom. Like there's, there's a lot more of that this year and it, I really dug it. I mean, that's the stuff that gets me going, but yeah, I mean, even like original cars like this, you know, like this 33, I, I love them, but some years, you know, you go out and there's mostly muscle cars or mostly street rods and it's cool. I mean, I don't, I don't knock them, but, this was a really good year for me. I I really enjoyed a lot of the cars I saw. This Diamond T I thought was really neat. Um, very unique car. Uh, you don't see anything like this very often. The dash is just unbelievable in this thing. I mean, it's beautiful. It is a really well done rig for, for what it is, you know.
To not only be a little bit of eye candy <laughs> and express themselves, but we are also hoping to support our charity, 
many miles to home. So if you see somebody approach you in a red sash, like you see these ladies wearing, and they are asking for your funds to support our charity, this is legitimate. This is all going to go towards these great little puppies that you will see in a little bit later. To From Southern Oregon, so way to go Myrtle Creek with that pickle. <laughs> okay, so I really appreciate that you had these sashes made because if a pretty girl came and asked me money, I would just give her the money. But it's good to know that your money is going to a great place. So yes, every one of these girls is not only eye candy, but an amazing representation of a wonderful pinup. So we have during our fabulous pageant that will be at two o'clock, we have seen some beautifully dressed guests. Our pinups are going to be choosing our best dressed guest, and we do actually have something to recognize you today. So during the pageant, we're going to take a moment, have the fashion show where everybody that's dressed in their amazing attire come down in front of the stage and we will recognize our best dressed guest. Hey guys. Uh, I messed up. I deleted all of the stills and all of the the winners of the, the pinup pageant, the, uh, the car show somehow late last night just managed to delete the wrong clip and uh my mistake totally screwed up i hope you guys enjoyed the, what you got hope you enjoyed the content it was a wonderful day we really had a good time got a lot of sun um but uh yeah just my mistake i i apologize but hope you guys enjoyed it was an awesome show big thanks to the hooligans for putting it on and uh we'll be back next year thanks